My name is Kate Thompson, and I spent the fall of my sophomore year in Africa with the School for Field Studies. These three months were spent first in Kenya, and then halfway through the semester in Tanzania, studying wildlife management and community development. As a biological anthropology and community development double major, I was most interested in the precarious balance between the finite resources that Africa provides and the huge human need for them. Though this topic, human environmental conflict, was where my research ended. Our education began with the most obvious aspect of Africa's landscape, its wildlife. I learned how to track draft footprints across the brushland, how to monitor wildlife populations and their migrational patterns. I learned what animals to sneak up on and which to leave alone. Wildlife in East Africa, especially the endangered animals, receives a lot of attention. As you can tell, we didn't spend all our time in a classroom, and it wasn't all in the savanna either. I spent a lot of my time in the local villages because people are truly what made my experience unforgettable. The small moments, buying mangoes, the cups of chai that I drank with neighbors, the broken Swahili English we shared, are the moments that I won't forget. Between class time and free time, our group also did a lot of community service. We planted trees, donated blood, volunteered in the Mtuambu orphanage, and taught English at our local primary schools. But truth be told, I learned a lot more from these people that I met than I could ever teach them. In the final month of our program, we put our new knowledge to use. This was our directed research, the culminating thesis for our three months of education in Africa. I wrote my thesis on environmental education and how it might benefit conservation attitudes among local people in Tanzania. I now know more intimately the careful balance that exists between the resources that our natural environment affords us and how intensely we depend upon them. I've also experienced the delicate balance that exists in academic pursuits and social sciences. It can be difficult to do objective research on the human condition without becoming emotionally involved. But I believe that empathy is a necessary part of the academic process. Empathy and compassion adds value to statistics, figures, and numbers. It helps me to believe that the research I do now and the education that I am participating in will help better not only myself, but the Penn State community, the world, and the countries of East Africa, which I now refer to as my second home. Mm -hmm.